Hey guys, my name is Sherry Walls and I am a rising PGY2. <laughs> Intern year is over and I am here to give you guys basically a recollection of, or let me not recollection, maybe more of just, let me just tell you how intern year was for me. So again, my name is Sherry. I'm a rising PGY2 in Georgia in internal medicine. And let me tell you, internal medicine residency is hard. I think residency in general is extremely hard. And the reason why I say that is because everyone's always like, oh, you know, the curve from medical student to resident is large and it's gonna be a lot of work, et cetera, et cetera. It, they 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 didn't lie they they did not tell a story it's very true um residency is a huge learning experience from i mean emotionally mentally physically um what you thought you knew you really necessarily don't know um dealing with different consultants dealing with different patients and families learning how to manage um, different kind of things by yourself. And it's not like A, B, C, D. So what do you want to do um, for this chest pain? So it's not A, order EKG, B, order checks x-ray, C, order troponins, D, give them aspirin. It's not like that. You, there's no test there. <laughs> Everything comes from here and you do it yourself. So going from like, you know, book to you know, steps and boards and, you know, seeing one or two, one to four patients for like a medical student versus, you know, having eight patients on inpatient up to seeing 12 patients a day in outpatient was a lot to say the least. Um, I think the most challenging was just the learning curve, getting used to, for one, someone calling you a physician, two, the, the amount of responsibility that it comes with being a physician and taking care of real life patients is not something to necessarily be scared of, but just as a reminder as, hey, if you make the decisions, you need to make sure that the decision is correct because these people's are, you know, people lives are at stake. So, um, and I think in order to become the best physician, you need to have the best environment. So it goes without saying is picking where you wanna do residency, making sure that you get along, um, that you can see yourself there long term because nine times out of 10, you're gonna be at the hospital the majority of the day. Like today, I'm going back on night for my last two weeks of intern year for uh, from 7 p.m. to about 7.30 a.m. And what am I gonna do when I get home? I'm gonna go to sleep. So it just goes without saying that you need to pick a place. It is very important to pick a place where you see where you can see yourself grow professionally as well as, you know, internally and personally. Because you need to have a really good environment in order to orchestrate that. So when you're picking residencies, make sure that it aligns with you and what you ultimately want because you really need the support in residency and when you have that support you can see your growth tremendously um, when you go from intern year all the way up to second year so overall like to keep it short but sweet residency is hard but you you're all here for a reason they picked you for a reason you got into the specialty that you wanted for a reason everything happens for a reason your journey is your journey and if I can do it anyone else can do it and don't give up because everybody's journey is different some people have to take the stairs and some people have to take the escalators and I'm just happen to be one of those people that have to take the stairs and that's okay and I'm in a good environment and I'm just happy to almost be done with intern year and making my dreams come true and getting ready to be a second year and try my best to lead others into the right direction. So I hope that this was a little bit helpful and giving a little bit of insight that, hey, you can do it. It's going to be rough, but you'll make it. And I'll see you guys later. Good luck. Bye.